Hello, everyone, and welcome to Bracket, the game show where you try to guess your favorite celebrities' picks, Bracket style. I'm your host, Jess Lucero. Today, I have a Rams CB joining me. What's up, Troy? How you doing? What's going on? What's going on? Excited Troy, to be here. We are going to be talking your favorite rappers. Oh, lordy, this list. <laughs> it was intense. Yes, it was. It was How tough was it for you to do? Man, it was one of the hardest decisions because it had me thinking outside of the box. I didn't, I didn't, I would never think of some of the matchups that they had in there. So, it was <laughs> right? Decision. We were talking about it a second ago. He's like, How do you come up with this list? Who comes up with this list? Because honestly, when you're looking through it, it is pretty tough. We've got some people that have been around forever. We have some people that are no longer here with us. Rest in peace. We have some people who are kind of new up and coming. It really, like, we don't discriminate. We got everyone on this list. <laughs> what kind of music do you listen to before a game? Uh, I listen to rap, rap music, uh, a little, like, I guess you can call it pop, uppity music, though. You know, mm -hmm. me up. Sometimes I like to listen to motivational songs, songs that I feel like, oh yeah, they talking to me. I gotta, I gotta go get it out the mud right now. So, motivational. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that, but that makes sense. Kind of yeah. lifts you up, gets you in the mood, gets you ready to go. Yeah, definitely. So a lot of these people were probably on your pregame playlist, right? Oh yeah. Oh, well, I mean. Some of them, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of don't really listen to them, but a lot of them for sure was on there. Have you seen any of these artists in person? Uh, yeah, Future, Drake, um, I think 21. I've seen a few of them for sure. I, I don't even got the list off my, off my head, but right, I right. a few of them for sure. Yeah, maybe we'll save that for a little bit later because I don't want you to give anything away too early but <laughs> let's go ahead and start on the top left side we've got biggie going up against drake that is already tough yeah that's that was a hard decision that was a well thought of decision at first i was like do i just go off of lyrics or do i go off of you know like songs platforms i tried to base it off of just who's the biggest artist right now with fan base everything and i mean i know biggie a legend but I had to get that nod to Drake, though, just just because he more of my time, too. I was a little biased with it. He more of my time. And I feel like he got so many different variety of fans, too. Like, he touching everybody. I get that. Moving on, we got DMX going up against T.I. Yeah, that was tough, too. That was tough, too, because DMX, he a legend for sure. Right. Again, they go back to kind of the same thing. Like, T.I. was more of my my era growing up, I, I was more hip to T.I., so I had to get T.I. at nah, even though, you know, DMX changed the game and he do his, he do his thing for sure, but T.I. had to get the nod. I love this. So far, our list would be looking very similar. Definitely. <laughs> we have Kendrick Lamar and Jay-Z. Woohoo! Yeah, see, y'all made it tough early. Right? <laughs> y'all made it tough early, wasting no time. That was tough. That was, that was tough. And we, this is like the third round. That's the crazy part. Exactly. But if we was going like Kendrick, man, he he hard. He he probably top five doing it right now in my eyes. But if I was going off with a whole body of work and just everything as a whole, I had to go with with Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? He got he got Beyonce. He got <laughs> oh, everything. He got all that. Oh my goodness, of course, you gotta throw Beyonce in there. I'm sure she's inspired a good amount of his music. <laughs> we got Nas and J. Cole next. That was tough too, because they're similar to me in a, in a way. They're similar in their styles and how they approach it to me. But uh, J. Cole, he he had to get the nod. It was actually, I was actually doing this with my brother and cousin too. Like, we oh, really? Kind of like, taking pause and I'm like, we all kind of agreed on that J. Cole went just off the strip. Like, uh, like I said, he more familiar. Nas had great stuff, but I feel like J. Cole, he just, he different right now. We're going to move on to the right side of the board. We got ooh, Tupac and Andre 3000. Listen, if you really want to be honest, you could have started this board from the beginning. It started hard from round one on this side. <laughs> it started hard from round one, but... 
on this Tupac and Andre, I had to get it out of the pot. Andre, he tough. He, you know, he made his style is unique. You know, thing that he did. Pac just did so much for the culture and just his, you know, who, what he stood for. He gave people that voice, I feel like. We finally made it, though. We got Lil Wayne and Future. How'd you decide between these two? Uh, that was tough, but I feel like Lil Wayne just more influential, influential than Future in the whole, like, rap game between, like, if I'm looking at people like Doug and, like, a lot of people, I feel like they get kind of that, like, vibe from Wayne to me. Like, he inspired, like, the new generation, and when he was doing it, he was at the top of the game. So, next up, we got Eminem and Childish Gambino. Mm, that was tough. Because Childish Gambino, he do it all, and, like, he got a, a wide range of audience. So, that was a tough one, but I had to go with him. You know, Eminem, he just legendary himself, like, dum, 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 everybody know that, eight mile song, everybody know whatever, them put out, so. Even if they know the fake lyrics, they still know the song. Exactly. <laughs> These weak, I'm spaghetti, you know? <laughs> we got Drake and T.I. Drake and T.I., yeah, that was tough. And T.I. was like one of my top, but, it's just, I don't, he, he couldn't compete with Drake and the stuff that Drake doing right now, every album, people are anticipating. And like you say, them Instagram models is loving his posts, <laughs> yes. you know? So you can't compete with great with Drake. So I had to give Drake that nod. So we have Jay-Z going up against J. Cole. Again, very tough. J. Cole, that's like, that's Jay-Z. Prodigy, or like, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. As hard as J. Cole is, I felt like he just, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, Jay Z, he got a whole different platform. He write for people, a lot of people inspired to be him, like, you know, so I had to get Jay Z that nod. Then we got Tupac and Lil Wayne. Again, it's like, it's not getting easier, it's just getting tougher. I had to go with, with Wayne on that one. You think you're gonna go <laughs> on, go on that one? On that one. <laughs> I had to, but like, don't you know? Don't get me wrong, Pac is Pac, but you know, it's just something different about Wayne. I feel like he 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 really changed the game in his own way. Like, and he was on top for I don't know how long. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like. We lost Pop too early, too, in a way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, he yeah. might have been that same, had that same, same, like, type of aura or, or more, like, because what he did in this short time, it was it was big, but, like, I feel like Wayne just, yeah, he, he, was, he was on top with that body of work that he did. Then he found Drake and Nicki, too, like, I had to go with, I had to go with Wayne. For this one, we have Eminem going up against Ice Cube. Who'd you go with? Yeah, I had to go with M on that one. Even though Ice Cube, he did a lot right for all type of people. But I, like I said, I thought Eminem, he just got, he did something different. Mm -hmm. His style was unique. Then he had a wide variety of audience. So I had to go with Eminem. Even now, like I be seeing Eminem trending in, on Twitter and you know what I'm saying? So, like, I, I had to go with him on that one. Did you know Lil Wayne was on The Masked Singer? Did you see him when he was on there? Nah. So, apparently, I didn't see it, but he was on season one of The Masked Singer, and I didn't realize that he actually has a great singing voice as well. Did you know that? It's called The, the Masked Singer? Yeah. Yeah, I ain't never seen that, but I ain't know that. Yep. And he won it all, so spoiler alert, apparently he's a really good singer. <laughs> he's talented. Sure. Exactly. We're down to your final four. We have Drake, Jay-Z, Lil Wayne, and Eminem. Oh so let's start on the left. We got Drake and Jay-Z. Walk us through how you chose between those two. I feel like right now, like if I would do this bracket, maybe like maybe like 10 years later. I feel like I would have probably picked Drake, but I had to go with Jay Z because you know what I'm saying what he, what he, what he got on his resume. Like even though Drake got some bangers album for album, but 
Jay Z, he just got a bigger platform, and he's on a whole nother level than a lot of folks. So yeah, I had to go with Jay Z. And then the rest of your final four consists of Lil Wayne and Eminem. Here we go again. What about these two? How'd you choose between them? That was tough. But, you know, <laughs> Lil Wayne, he just, he just. He just different, and like I say, he just inf way more influential in the music today than I feel like Eminem is, even though he got his stamp. But I feel like the way the whole music industry involved is kind of like Lil Wayne style in a way. So I had to go Wayne, get him to nod. Dang, okay, I respect it. You've been talking him up since the beginning, so at least <laughs> your mind isn't changing at all. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Our final two, our championship round right here is Jay-Z and Lil Wayne. Was this tough for you? Or did you know right away? When you think about it on paper, it was tough, but I knew, I knew, I knew. I knew right away. <laughs> Who'd you go with? I, I went with Wayne. I was biased on this. I ain't gonna lie, as soon as I seen his name in there, I'm like, all right, I know who the winner is. But All the way to the end. <laughs> it was just tough on the matchups to think about. Like, like Jay-Z and Lil Wayne, they used, used to be like, going at it to be the best rapper alive and talk about being the best rapper alive. So, you know what I'm saying? Just for him to even have that platform to be able to stand up to the challenge in real life, a lot of people, they don't like, they don't rap like that no more and challenge other rappers to see who the greatest is and stuff like that no more. Everybody work together and stuff. So, I mean, I feel like in that moment when you got somebody like Ho, you know what I'm saying? And you got Wayne who like, all right, I know I'm on your neck. I'm I'm somebody, I'm here to stay. I had to like go with him because he, he just talked to me different. Like, I feel him, I, I feel the same way and the things that I do, so. Before you go, give us some insight. What are your thoughts on the new Rams unis? Uh, I like them a lot. I actually seen them a little bit early. I got the chance to see them a little bit early, but I like them a lot, especially that bone one. I like the navy blue a lot, but the bone one is, I feel like it's different. Kind of remind me like when I was in Oregon, like they doing something new with the uniforms, like innovative to me. So I, I like that. I like it a lot. All right, Troy, where can everyone follow you at on all your socials? You can follow me at the link below. All you gotta do is swipe up and, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he doesn't even know what he's saying for you guys, but don't worry, our editor's gonna help him out. He's gonna put it down below for him. Uh, <laughs> and for me, I'm Jess Lucero. Say for me, my socials are gonna be down below <laughs> if you wanna follow them. <laughs>